to talk about is how the NFL and Oakley actually came together on a new deal until 2030. So initially it was a four-year deal. They started in 2019 and that deal is obviously up, but they have refreshed it and they are back as the NFL's leading optics provider. So the coaches are going to be wearing Oakley sunglasses. And then of course the players, like you see Baker Mayfield is going to be wearing uh, Oakley branded visors. So something kind of unique that we've noticed heading into this year following this new updated partnership is that NFL Oakley visor tabs have different branding. So they used to just have the Oakley O on the visor tab, and now they've added the word Oakley underneath, which honestly, I think it it's a little too busy. Uh, what do you think, Tony? Yeah, I mean, everyone you talk to, it's kind of like no one likes it. Um so I first saw this, the, what was it? The deal came out or we found out about the deal on Monday. It was announced on Wednesday. And then the Jets were the first team to get them on their helmets for practice that day. Um, and then obviously they premiered, I think on Sunday. I don't think everyone had them switch over by Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, this is the new style here. So the O before, and I guess I keep it like, to be honest. So you have the O and you have the Oakley. And maybe they just looked at it and said, like, with that, there is room. So I'm not sure why they did or didn't do it. And I never even noticed that on the Oakley visor, the O is not centered. Hold on, Devin, on your side, it says live video will return when their internet improves. Mm. Devin, you there? I'm here, yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, I see you. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a note. We'll just have to cut out like. Mm-hmm. We'll just have to just give me that. Anyway, so I don't actually know, and it's never bothered me until I noticed it right now that the Oakley logo is not centered um, on the actual visor tab. If I look at here, this is an Oakley Legacy. It's actually the same thing. So I'm assuming that's because of they expect part of this black part to sit below the face mask bar, and they kind of just left it higher up for that. But maybe it's something to do with the way the visor is fitting differently than they thought on the helmet. And so they never had a reason before to switch it to Oakley or something. And now that, you know, they see that the tabs are like sitting a lot higher, that they actually have room for it. Um, Because like sometimes when you do see, so let me open this. What if I... If we look at this old post from, I have a Jalen. Uh, no, let's go here. So this is what it looked like with yeah, Ryan Jensen, but that's the Oakley Edge, so that's kind of different. Um, let's see, Baker Mayfield. Okay, so here's an example. So this is the Oakley visor before with it kind of a little bit peeking out, and then this is it now. So I guess it kind of depends on the face mask option you pick as far as how much it's going to get seen. Um, personally, I mean, I don't think anyone disagrees that it looked a lot cleaner before. I think it's kind of unnecessary. I think everyone knows the O, and I think their branding is super powerful. And so I don't personally see the need for it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Um, you said, I mean, the O is, is so powerful. It's so iconic. They've been doing glasses for who knows how long. I just really don't think they needed to add the Oakley branding underneath. I don't think anybody looks at the O and they're like, hmm, what is that? Um, so definitely kind of weird. But but yeah, Oakley signed with them again with the NFL until 2030. So you're going to see it a lot more. Uh, continuing to talk about the top half of the helmet, we got to talk about the Axiom top bar. 